week number two, day two of week two. I've been hitting all of my macros every single day. It's been super easy. My macros right now are, what are they? <laughs> my macros right now are 140 protein, 185 carb, and then fat is 45. Calories are at 1,705. It's not bad because obviously my macros aren't like super low right now. I've just been maintaining my weight at 124, like it's between 124.2 to 124.8. Today was actually the first day that I have seen a change in my weight. I was 123. So I'm guessing this next week I'll just fluctuate between 123 and then um, hopefully continue to drop weight. Hello YouTube, I love you guys. I'm so excited to be doing another video. I think I'm gonna call these segments after I go to the gym, Car Talks with Caitlin. <laughs> Is that original? I don't know, but I like this segment where I get to chat with you a little bit. <laughs> so I just had an awesome upper body lift. I was kind of nervous about it because my left shoulder felt really tight because I slept on it. It's super weird. So I was like, crap, I don't want to be injured. I don't want to have any problems. So I was able to put up 40s on my shoulder press for nine reps. The 10th rep, I like got it halfway up, but I was like, yeah, it's not going all the way up. So my shoulder felt fine, which is really good. I'm going to insert a clip here so you can see what I'm talking about about when I say that my muscles feel a lot tighter when I get pumps you can just see all the definition so much better lately and it's literally only been two weeks of prep so honestly I'm excited to see how quickly my body cuts down because I feel like it's responding so much quicker this prep and we're barely like even in a deficit barely even doing cardio like barely even changed my diet you know what I mean so it'll be really interesting going forward and seeing that today on the agenda is what am i gonna do today i need to go grocery shopping walmart's the og i am a poor college student over here actually i don't go to college but brayden goes to college so i count right <laughs> anyways we're poor so we go to walmart <laughs> so when i get the groceries i will show you the entire haul so you guys can see Today is Friday, which means it is the end of my second week of prep, which is so crazy. Literally, it's just been so easy. Like, I've had no complaints this whole week. I got a check-in from Lauren yesterday, and everything looks really good. She says she thinks I've even recomped since working with her, which is so true. Even before we actually started prep and we're just in the off season I felt a lot leaner going into prep than when I did like the beginning of February. So recomp means that you have lost body fat but in the process gained muscle. Definitely think we've been able to recomp a little bit. I do feel very lean. This is me at like a fasted state right now. Yeah I just feel like my stomach is pretty flat. When I have a pump my shoulders really pop out too and like definition in my ch upper chest right here. Still feel like my booty is there. Last prep, she left. She left the building like early on. As pancake butt for a long time. So hoping that this little peach stays for at least a minute. <laughs> this is my outfit for today. I wanted to show you guys because this is one of my favorite fits ever. I'm obsessed with Alphalete. I think they're such a good brand. I think they had a rough start because I remember buying their stuff early on and it was like, quality that would fall apart really quickly. I felt like it was products that were really hyped, but now I love the things that they're coming out with. Before I go into details, this is the mountain. That's what me and Brayden call it. We always have a never-ending pile of laundry and a never-ending pile of dishes. I swear we're always doing them. It's so annoying. So ignore that. This is an Alphalete sports bra. It has like padding inside, but you can take the cups out if you want and usually size up in bras because my lats are pretty broad for my size. But this is an extra small. It's the tri bra in gold white. It's so cute. It makes the back so pretty. I use fake tan, obviously. <laughs> And whenever a fake tan gets on this, it washes right off too, so don't worry about that if you do fake tan. It has kind of a thicker band around the bottom here. It just keeps everything in, but it doesn't make anything like bulge, you know what I mean? And then I love these leggings. I can't remember. I think these are the surface path leggings. They have this really pretty detail here on the thigh. They're like little laser cutouts and so it's just kind of like a cheeky little sneak peek of my thigh. And then this right here, the cross waistband is so flattering. I'm obsessed with it. And then it really does make your booty look 
so good they're so cute and they're, i would say they're like a true seven eight which is perfect on me i'm five four love you guys we just got to the gym i'm doing leg workout today and brayden's doing some got back and biceps Bray got some yeah back and biceps last time oh yeah always doing back and biceps building those wings Every day's back day. <laughs> Every day back day. Braid will probably film this workout for me, so yeah, let's get it. So I am about to make my breakfast. I am gonna make a breakfast burrito. It's one of my favorites ever, but while I'm making my burrito and waiting for the eggies to cook, I thought I would show you some of the groceries that I got because I was gonna film that yesterday, but I totally spaced. So I guess I'm just doing a grocery haul at home. So let me just show you all of the foods. They're all put away now, but I'll just show you the ones that I got for this week. Welcome to my fridge. So over here we have lots of cooked chicken. So when we go to the grocery store, we always get a ton of chicken like we get frozen chicken like two bags of frozen chicken and then two things of fresh chicken and then we immediately cook the fresh chicken and have it for our meal prep and then once we're done eating this because we go through this in like a couple days then we'll start eating our frozen chicken and we stock up every single time we go to the grocery store this is rice I bought a huge thing of basmati rice at Costco and that was the best thing I've ever done because we've had it for forever this has a little bit of turmeric in it I got watermelon this week as kind of like a little sweet treat i always have my egg whites i'm obsessed with egg whites a lot of people just like use the egg whites that are in actual eggs but i just think this is easier to quickly get it out weigh it out and be done with it Braden's milk for cereal and then I have almond milk in case I want to do any smoothies. We love the light and fit Greek yogurt. Jihyo's is the best at freaking condiments because these macros you guys are insane. Two tablespoons or 30 grams are 10 calories and I usually do half serving so five calories. Total carbs, two carbs, 200 grams sodium, zero fat, zero protein. They're just so freaking macro friendly. I'm obsessed with them. I prefer the original flavor to the maple 
The maple brown is not my favorite. I will say that, but yeah, I like the original a ton. This is my favorite dip that I have right now. I use this for some of my fats. So it's Avocado Ranch, it's the Hope brand. So good. Another fat source that I have is this Laughing Cow Light Cream Cheese. So they're just those little tiny wedges. They're so good on like bagels and stuff. One wedge is 30 calories and I usually just need like a half a wedge. I always get fresh blueberries. I love blueberries. I got some tofu this time. I don't eat a lot of tofu, but I thought it would be fun to try. We always get a huge carton of eggies. These are pre-cooked sweet potatoes, so I'll cook sweet potatoes in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour, and then I just wrap them in tin foil and have them on hand. Also have this huge thing of ground turkey that we need to cook up for our meal prep. This is one of my favorite go-tos for protein sources. Here we have a bunch of cheese. I got the fat sweet, so I wanted to try it. We'll see if it's actually good, I don't know. I love these little salad blends that Walmart has the Southwest kind is so freaking good you guys if you haven't tried this this is so yummy I got some apples as well another condiment that we love is the Bolt House classic ranch it's 45 calories for two tablespoons super macro friendly really good tasting I also use the I can't believe it's not butter this is the Dijon mustard that I use unsweetened organic ketchup macros are 10 calories per tablespoon sugar-free concord grape jam it's not the best tasting but it does the job has zero sugar in it it's good for prep okay i had to stop midway through filming that because my eggs were burning so i ate my breakfast really quick and now we're back on and i'll just show you like what's in my pantry rice cakes i eat probably like three or four rice cakes a day lately i don't know they're just like quick digesting carbs i like to have them right before i go to work out crumble ones and the chocolate ones are both really good we get these every time we go to the grocery store they're the thomas muffins the macros are pretty decent on them usually bagels are like 200 plus calories and these ones are 120 per whole muffin not half sometimes the muffins get you they say 200 calories but then it's just half the muffin we really like the whole wheat ones and the sourdough is my all-time favorite but they were out last time so i couldn't get them always pick up literally like three of these this is another staple that i always have on hand it's the extreme wellness fiber tortillas so these tortillas are really good. They're like thinner, I'll show you. They're a little bit thinner than normal tortillas, but I think they taste just as good. Do you think they taste just as good? <laughs> Why? <Right up. laughs> I think they taste just as good. Brayden's not a big fan of them, but <laughs> that's okay. These are only 50 calories per tortilla, you guys, 50 calories. A normal tortilla is 140, and I just get them at Walmart. Most all of my groceries are from Walmart, you guys. We're too poor. We don't shop at the fancy stores usually. We're just Walmarters. Walmart. This is a granola that I picked up. The birthday cake granola, gluten-free, nut-free, ancient grains, vegan. It's from the Safe and Fair Food Company, and I think I just got this one at Walmart too, and this granola is so freaking good. I'll just eat it like cereal, and pour almond milk over the top, or um, I'll put a little bit on my Greek yogurt. Macros are pretty decent. I haven't been eating it as much since I started prep, just because I'm trying to save all of my carbs for things like my muffins <laughs> and oatmeal, but this granola is fabulous. This has also been a staple in my diet for the past couple of weeks. So this particular brand is Lehigh Roller Mills. I have eaten this brand since I was literally little. It's strawberries and cream germade cereal, so it's basically just cream of wheat. I usually do two servings of this and then I'll pour in some egg whites. I have a clip on my Instagram how I make my fluffy cream of wheat and add tons of protein to it, but I love cream of wheat. And this one in particular is really good. Braid really likes this one too. Don't you, Bray? Uh -huh. I got this from Costco. It came in a big box of two huge bags of steel cut oats. So I switch between steel cut oats and the rolled oats. Um, once I'm out of this, I'll probably go back to my rolled oats because I think I like the texture of those a little bit better. These ones are just like a little bit more hearty and they take a little bit longer to cook, which is fine. But I um, will rotate through my fluffy oats and fluffy cream of wheat. This big bag I also got at Costco. You can get them at Walmart and other grocery stores, but it's usually really expensive. And at Costco, it's super affordable. So this is the Lakanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. Literally life-saving. 
thing, especially during prep. Honestly, if you just have a sweet tooth and you like to sweeten up all of your food, I put this on my oatmeal, I put this on my cream of wheat, I put this on my pancake. I think it's the best tasting. I like it better than stevia. I don't really like stevia because I think it has a weird aftertaste, but this one tastes exactly like sugar. Me and Brayden have been liking herbal teas lately to drink right before we go to bed. I just like having like a warm belly <laughs> when I get in bed. And this has been one of our favorite teas the past month. It's the Calm Chamomile. It's just herbal tea. I really like it. It does have like a very, very subtle pepperminty taste, but it's just kind of like a refreshing tea. And I like this tea hot. We've also been drinking this tea too. It's the raspberry flavor from Celestial Seasonings. Herbal tea, caffeine free. We always do caffeine free just because we do drink this right before bed. So we don't do any like black teas or green teas either, only herbal teas. I think this one tastes better cold. My little sweet treat that I have every single day. I have one of these squares every day because I have a big sweet tooth, especially for dark chocolate. I love anything dark chocolate. 45 calories. These are the JoJo's Raspberry Dream. I think the JoJo's original flavor is really good too, but these ones are bomb. I just get these little packs and they come in like the tiny squares. If you get them from Costco, they'll come in the long bars and I'll just cut those up into thirds and then you can have those as bites too if you don't want to eat the whole bar. These definitely help you curb your sweet tooth. Is it curb or curb? Curb. These will definitely help you curb your sweet tooth. They're Satisfy. one of my favorites. Satisfy your sweet tooth cravings. This is actually a local brand to Utah, supporting those local brands. Okay, and then the last things are just like normal. Oh, turn this little guy. Always get bananas. Brayden puts a ton of banana in his smoothies every night. Probably like 10 bananas in one smoothie. Correct? <laughs> he, he loves bananas. You love the shape. <laughs> You like the shape of the taste. <laughs> you like both. <laughs> avocados, these are some of my favorite fat sources to get from, so I've got a bunch of avocados. Onions, I like to put onions on my little sandwiches that I make with the Thomas bagels and then lunch meat. And yeah, that's pretty much it for all of our like dry ingredients that we keep in our pantry. Hubbards, actually, because we live in a one bedroom apartment. Okay, that's it. Bye, everyone. -y. Say goodbye, Bray. Yeah.